Hey everyone, Matt here from the Tech Corner, and do you shoot a lot of video on your smartphone? Well, depending on your smartphone, you may find that after you take a video, it may look good on your phone, but it's actually pretty shaky. And that's because you may have a phone that doesn't have any type of built-in stabilization. So I have the iPhone SE here, and this phone does not have any stabilization, whether optical or electronic. And I have my Nexus 6P that does electronic image stabilization for videos up to 1080p. And then you have the phone I'm reviewing right now, the Pixel XL, review to come soon, that has electronic stabilization but not optical image stabilization, which means that basically the software is doing the stabilization using the gyroscopes built into the phone, but it's not like a sensor or anything inside the lens that actually moves, similar to the image stabilization that the lens on my Canon T7i has. So that brings me to today's unboxing, which is the Zhiyun Smooth 3 3-axis gimbal. Now this is the upgrade to the Zhiyun Smooth 2, and this was just recently announced, so it is a gimbal that you put your smartphone in and it allows you to basically stabilize your photos. So let's get into the unboxing, let's see what the box looks like and see what's inside. So on the front here you have a picture of the gimbal, Smooth 3, 3 axis smartphone stabilizer, and they also make gimbals that can stabilize your DSLR or your camera, so if you want to see that, I'll link their website in the description. On the back, it basically just tells you what's inside, so you can see that it has instant camera settings through the stabilizer, so you can actually monitor it. Uh, it has instant manual zooming control, so we'll see, I'll show you how that works. And this is an unboxing, but my review for this will come in about a week or so after I've gotten a chance to use it and familiarize myself with it. It has a 14 hour battery life, so no matter how long you're shooting, I can almost guarantee that this will last longer than your smartphone. Um, and then this is the fifth generation Instune, Instune, yeah I was right, stabilizing system. It comes with a charging cable, as well as a box or a carrying case for it, and then obviously the gimbal itself. And then it says here, make your phone camera pro. So, and, and that's a good point, because a lot of the phones that we have nowadays, like the phones I just showed you, they all shoot 4K, but they're not stabilized, so they're gonna be shaky, and you don't want that when you're shooting in such a high resolution. I mean, you don't want that at all. So something like this will make your 4K camera even better. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, so I have my handy knife here. So before I contacted Zune, the reason I picked them out is because I actually saw a list of the top seven gimbals out there, and it included the Smooth 2. So when I reached out to them, they said, hey, uh, if you're going to do a review, why don't you do it on our newest product? So here's the Smooth 3. So that's pretty awesome. Thank you, Zune. Um, they did not sponsor this video or anything, but whenever someone agrees to uh, help you out with getting an item in your hand, I think that's awesome, so thank you again. All right, so when you open it, you're greeted with a tiny ukulele case. I mean, look, I, I could almost fit my ukulele in it. See, I mean, here's, no, almost, almost. All right, jokes aside, let's put this down for a minute. You get a strap for it. You get your USB cable to micro USB. Not USB-C, but that's okay. I think uh, if you're like me, a lot of you probably have a bunch of these lying around. It's a flat one, so it shouldn't tangle. That's pretty cool. And then a user manual. And I have a feeling I am going to have to read this just so that I can get well acquainted for this. And. That's everything inside the box. All right, so I'll put these items off to the side. Take a look at this in a second. 
And this is a pretty nice carrying case. Pretty durable. Or it looks durable at least. And there is the gimbal itself. Okay. So taking a look at the gimbal real quick, you have the handle itself down here. And this is completely made of aluminum, so it feels really nice in the hand. Um, it has this grippy texture right here, um, and it does, it feels really good. You have your power and shutter button right there. Also an M button, I think that would be a manual button, I'm not sure. And then you have your toggle so that you can pan, move around, do whatever you're gonna do. All right, you have a settings button right here. You have a charging port. And then I believe that this is the zoom toggle. So you just scroll this when you wanna zoom in if you are using the app that goes along with this. All right, on the bottom, which is also pretty nice, you have a standard tripod mount. So, it, or if you have a selfie stick or anything that you want to put this on, you can, and I guess it becomes stabilized. That's pretty cool. So you unscrew this at the bottom, and you act, act to get to your battery. All right, so inside you have one nice big battery. Now, the older Smooth 2, actually had a non-removable battery. It did have a feature that I really liked, which was the ability to charge your phone while in use. But as we know, sealed batteries, or batteries in general, tend to degrade over time. And that would become difficult because that battery would slowly get used up and slowly degrade. And uh, you know, you might get a new phone, but are you gonna buy a brand new gimbal? Maybe not. This, you just buy a new battery, pop it in, keep the same gimbal, so that's pretty cool. So, when they say three axis, what that means is it will basically move on three different axes, or axi, I'm not really sure. So what it'll do, before I put my phone in it, will move like this, it will move like this, and then it will also move here, okay? Okay, so taking a look at this chart here, like I said, you have your clamp, your tilt axis, your pan axis, battery level indicator was right next to the knob, your joystick, your mode button, that's what the M was, your on off, your function button, your function button, and again, so you see the thumb screw, so that's to move it in and out, Again, your roll axis, horizontal arm, your micro USB port, your hand wheel, your charging indicator, and the mount. Okay, so according to this here, they actually do allow you to go ahead and charge your phone using this mount, using this gimbal, and the cable's not included, but... There is another micro USB port that you plug in right here. It's probably a shorter one that they sell separately so that you can charge your smartphone. So they still included that feature. That's really cool. Okay, so I downloaded the app. I'm going to use my iPhone for this because it has no stabilization built in at all. Uh, but you can use this on anything that runs iOS 9 or higher or uh, Android 5.0 or higher. So even older phones you can go ahead and use this with. So basically what you're supposed to do before you turn it on, and I have not turned this on yet, um, this is going to be a first try, but uh, I have you know looked through the manual a little bit, is you want to balance this. So the first thing that you do is you're gonna set this down. I find it easier to set it down on the table. And you will open this, these brackets here, open, and then you will slide your phone in, okay. And they're pretty strong. These are strong brackets. This is a well-built item here. Um, and then you want to slide it in all the way against the motor itself. Now, mine is pretty much balanced. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but what you do to balance it, if you need to, is this thumb screw right here at the bottom moves this 
piece right here forward and back. So if you have a bigger phone, you may have to bring it farther this way to go ahead and balance it. And, you know, for the iPhone, it was pretty close to balance. I just had to move it over this way a little bit. And it has notches on the inside that you can't see, um, but it's measured. So um, I guess you could kind of like color it if you use different devices or stuff like that. Okay, so I want to make sure my iPhone's unlocked. So to pair this in the app, you have to make sure that your Bluetooth is on and you are greeted with a screen that basically wants you to connect immediately, which would make sense. You get the most out of it. So let's turn this on. Maybe I should hit the right button. Let's turn this on. There you go. Look at that. All right, so connect your devices, confirm. Okay, give it, a, so basically what I just did was say that it could use my camera, it can use my microphone, and then you are greeted with the actual app itself, which, let's see if I can turn it around is a very advanced setup. Well, hi, now you get double version of me. Um, you have a lot of different settings on the sides. I don't know if my camera's picking this up or not. Um, there we go. But a lot more settings than you get in the regular app. So if I move the joystick, you can see it's panning up and down. All right, so it just pans up and down at that point. And you can see that as I move, it follows me, right? So if I do one of these, it's focused on my camera right now. Okay, so that's the first mode. The second mode is to follow, right? So I was just using the pan mode where it moves with me. So the next one is, so I think now I'm in follow mode. Okay, so this is follow mode. As I move it, it's going to just slow down and stabilize what I'm doing. So from follow mode, a single press will get you locking mode. So now you see it will stay focused and pointing upward no matter what I do. Even if I bring it all the way towards me, put it there, it's staying like this, okay? And then I can pan however I want, but I, I'm telling it to pan with the use of that button. Alright, and then one more press of the mode button gets you a a panning mode which will move this part at the bottom. Okay, so by using this scroll wheel, it allows me to zoom in. Let's see. So holding the function button, allows you to get into like a selfie mode. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down for a second. <laughs> okay, so that was just a quick unboxing. I know you probably just watched me kind of play around with the device in front of my face. Um, I'm kind of just blown away by its ability to pan and maneuver and work in a way where I can't do that with my hand. I think there's 
a lot of capability to get cool shots with this pan up and down uh, product shots with it probably. Um, it's probably great to use for B-roll. This is not a full review. I uh, clearly don't know how to use this properly. So I'm gonna go and play with this now, try and figure out how it works and everything. And I'm gonna bring a full review, hopefully within a week or so as I figure out how to use it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this gimbal, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will try and answer them in my full review. And don't forget to subscribe as it really helps me out building my channel and it allows you to see more videos as soon as they're released in the future. This has been Matt here at the Tech Corner. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.